She's 15 years old. But look, the front, the front foot does respond. The back one is responding a tiny bit. She's very camped under, which is a horse term, which means the legs are so tucked under, they're almost at the front leg. Do you see that? Oh, that's a bad spot. Sorry, sweetie. All right. So that's also the neck, and that's C3. And let's also come under here on C2. one week or less than a week less than a week it's like five days right yes okay so this is five days after the first treatment uh, to remind you the dog's name is Nina Nina's 15 years old uh, Nina has had a big setback about six months ago prior to that you were walking a total of two miles a day a mile and a half yeah. in the morning yeah. and maybe another yeah. half mile in the afternoon yeah. uh, something banged her back or something happened yeah. that traumatized her she's been to all sorts of veterinarian care and analysis uh, she holds her front arms out really wide. She's always pulling to the left. She hardly can even bend to the right. And she even bounces off the wall on the left just mm -hmm. to stabilize. Yeah, yeah. Um, we did one visit. I did a lot of adjustments. I looked at her atlas. I looked down the leg. We also did a proprioception test in the first video, which is worth going back and seeing because we're going to redo it today. And you can see, you know, see what's happening but the the first thing I wanted to do is just ask you what have you noticed in the last five days um, she's she's doing much better she's sleeping better if she wants to lay down she doesn't have as much trouble um, if she wants to even move her head you know she started sleeping with her head turned to the right and she hadn't been able to okay so maybe some of the neck adjustments we yeah. adjusted the atlas on the right and C5 on the right the lower cervicals we might go in a little bit more into helping her turn to the right, if I can find some of the points that are related to that. Mm -hmm. um, anything else you noticed? Um, her back right leg um, is sort of not responding sometimes. The back left or the back? The, oh, back, the back right is the, the bad back one. Right. Um, so sometimes she's not putting any weight on it at all. So like yesterday, she literally could not stand up on that mm -hmm. leg. Did you try the knuckling down yeah. thing? Yeah. And what happened? She's, like, um, Did it work sometimes? Yesterday it was working. The day before, there was no response. Okay. So it's like, it depends on the day right. or the hour. Like in the afternoon, she's, it's, she's I guess, much more warmed up. Mm -hmm. So she responds better. But first thing in the morning, it's, it's, she doesn't respond. Yeah. And it seemed before we worked on her last week, there was no life in that back leg. Yeah. Yeah. Like she, you told me she dragged it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Um, hi, Nina. How are you? She's ready to take her nap. She's going to take her <laughs> nap. May I work with you today, Nina? Do you want to do a little more? Let me ask you, is it okay to work with your child? Yeah. <laughs> you'll, you'll have to wake her up. She's a beautiful senior, isn't she? Okay. Um, let's. The first thing I'd like to do is check the knuckling, okay? Okay. So we'll do it the same way we partnered on last time where... Um, Whoever's got the back leg will do it, but we want to do the leg facing the camera, so we might as well let you do the back right, and I'll help the front. And when you're ready, you know, you'll knuckle down on that side. No, oh, sorry, sweetie. Shh, 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 shh. So that's delayed. Look at me for a second, that's delayed, but that's pretty awesome compared to, I wouldn't call that a zero anymore. Would you? No, because the last time she was literally like barely even. Oh, she would leave it there for seven yeah. hours if you let her. She would have, she had no clue that she had a foot on the end of her leg. And that's what proprioceptive testing kind of determines if, if her body or brain or central nervous system down to the peripheral nervous system has any communication that tells us where our body placement is. Um, so let's turn around. Oh, let's do the front 
Um, I have her chest, so do the front right. That wasn't a problem at all. She does not want you to touch that. She keeps fixing it. Again, nothing in her is like snappy fast. So if you had a performance dog, like a dog that competes in tournaments, we're gonna see lightning response and proper reception. Um, and she is a senior, she's 15 years old. But look, the front, the front foot does respond. The back one is responding a tiny bit. She's very camped under, which is a horse term, which means the legs are so tucked under, they're almost at the front leg. Do you see that? So let's turn her around. And you could do the front left first. Let me hold her chest. <laughs> okay, there you go. And she already, just the act of her not liking her foot being touched means she is aware that she has a touchable front foot, mm -hmm. right? So let's try the back end. And I'm gonna take this foot, and again, she's pulling it away. So she immediately knows I'm touching something that's her body, not my body. And now I'm gonna place it. And she's slow though. We're definitely having deficit. She's not healed by any means. Look at that, that stayed too long. That's a failure on proprioceptive testing. She's pulling on it. You know, it's funny, the um, the worst one was the back right, right? Yeah. No, actually, this one was the worst one. Was back left? Yeah. Okay. Back left is her worst side. Well, she definitely needs a tune-up today. <laughs> so that's, but everybody watching, that's the failure. Look, she's not correcting the knuckle down. And I showed you this on the first video, immediately she should pop it back down. You can do that with horses too. You can put their hoof down, you can crisscross their feet on a horse. On a horse we often do that. We do a cross proprioceptive test on a horse. So I take the foot on a horse and I move it over to here. And they'll go, nope. And then you move this side over here. And they go, nope. And then they do this and they fix it, this, and fix it. And they're um, more comfortable, horses are more comfortable for the crossover in the front, so that's not always a sign of a proprioceptive damage. Uh, the rear, they definitely want to stabilize fast because it's their back end with a, a lot more weight on it. Um, so let's do some stuff now. She's already in position, I'm gonna check the atlas. Let's do the, uh, I might have you hold the chest. So I'm gonna bring this to this side. And let's try to go this way. And I might use my activator today also. I have my old activator, which is not the electronic one. I'm gonna rub this muscle for a second. So this is a really tight muscle at the base of C5. I'm coming in with my finger, pushing into C5. And I'm gonna reach under kind of the shoulder itself, looking for issues in there. One second. So this one might make her yelp. So this is going to make a tapping sound. First, I'll do it on you, okay? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Pretty soft, right? Mm -hmm. Occiput. C2. C4. 
and then go under here and then got it okay let's let her take that for a second so this is an activator and this is, uh, I got this one 23 years ago. It's in perfect condition. Um, it taps things. Um, while she's integrating that, I'll show you a cool example. So this is actually a thyroid product I made. This is not a commercial, but I sell this on Amazon. Um, so it has a bit of a oomph, right? Can you guys see this? So I'm just lighting this up and I'm not pushing it. I'm just allowing the concussive force to knock it over. Now you can set the force on this by dialing these rings up and down. And the mass is this little piece up here, but it's a tapping instrument and will move bones a millimeter here, a millimeter there. And we did the upper neck. I did the occiput bilaterally. I did the um, atlas in two different directions, posterior, and lateral right. Um, I went down and in deep into the cervicals on the left. I want to do another one here. So I'm, I'm still going down here to C5, and it feels very rotated. I love how she just sat in front of me now, right? That was kind of nice. She's ready. You she's almost like, can you just keep going? Because this, whatever you're doing is nice. My baby, you're so great. I love this dog. Okay. Now, into the third. I'm palpating and looking for spots that are not moving. Oh, that's a bad spot. Sorry, sweetie. All right. Putting, since we're in a stronger part of the spine, the neck is uh, less stabilized because it doesn't have a rib cage or a pelvis next to it. So now I'm going to a, a little bit stronger and you see the whole the whole leg jump. Mm. So I'm on the sacral base, the sacrum. I did the lumbar. I want to do the hip also. Here, you can use your fingertips here. So right here, uh, very soft. That's the hip. Okay. Right? or the side of the hip. Uh -huh. Very soft, because the harder you touch, the less you feel. And so right here is where I'm gonna go. Feel this little nook? Yeah. That's where I'm going. Uh -huh. That was a little shake. Thanks for shaking. I'm gonna stretch her a little bit. Okay. Now my thumb is still on that hip socket and I'm um, abducting the hip at the same time. This is tender because she keeps pulling away. And there's that quiver spot. So that's the spot that makes her quiver. And got it. Okay, we're gonna work these feet a little bit. She's giving me a lot more today. Yeah. I've been doing some um, physical therapy with her, and yeah. um, it, there was just more response yeah. than she's had previously. So now I'm going to go into the uh, hip flexors, the iliopsoas, the uh, iliacus, and I'm in there now, which is deep in here in the hip, and I'm just stretching. Let's bring that leg back into extension. Okay, good doggy. Oh my God, you're so beautiful. 
I really love her. I know. It's easy. <laughs> okay, nice. So I'm stretching that leg back into extension and I'm grabbing into the iliopsoas. I'm also on top into the glute as well, the glute medius, and I'm working the hip now. Now I'm going to come for a superior femoral head, adjusting from superior to inferior. Again, I'm going to just stay with this instrument. It seems to be giving me more access. And one of the reasons is she's a little fragile. I mean, she's a senior dog. She's smallish. She doesn't have a ton of meat on her bones. She's fluffy. Got a beautiful coat. But once you get under the fluffy, you're Not really right. <laughs> yeah, we're really down to a um, kind of a a thinner dog with less muscle mass. Oh God, right in there, good. All right, so let's see what else we got. Um, let me. So now I'm gonna go into the pecs now. May I touch you for a second? So I'm in here and here at the same time, okay. bilaterally. Here, put your arm up for a second. So I'm coming into there. Right there, do you feel that? It's yeah. a nice spot on you, yeah. right? So I'm going both sides here. You know, there could be stuff on the left too. I'm, I'm just assuming everything's on the right, but there might be stuff here too. Yeah, there's one here. So that's also the neck, and that's C3. And let's also come under here on C2. Check the jaw. Oh, what a, you know, and her coat is just unbelievably beautiful. She eats well. She's got a good mommy, that's <laughs> why. All right, so this is a beautiful thing. She. she there's some sense that she's gonna let this guy work on her today, you know? Mm -hmm. She's like, okay, he's the guy from five days ago. And now I'm behind her deltoid in the shoulder, so I'm back here. Turn a little bit to camera. I'm back here, right in there. Mm -hmm. Look, you need that spot too. Everybody. Everybody needs that <laughs> spot, right? From Carry so much stuff. Yeah. Taking the arm through ranges of motion. So we kind of decided we're going to do a few more visits, right? Yeah. You're going to, as best, we, we're running into the holidays now, but we're going to try to maybe do once a week, right? Yeah. Okay. So we're bringing the legs in every direction. She's letting me, for sure, right? Yeah. Stretching, stretching, I'm stretching. So right now, I'm gonna use your hand. So right now, I'm pulling, 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 bringing the arm forward, bringing the arm back. Mm. And even in the hands, I'm stretching and stretching and stretching and stretching. That's what I'm doing. Loosen the muscles? Yeah, loosen the tendons, loosen the joints, loosen the muscles. I mean, she's letting me do all this. Yeah. She's not in any pain? No. We saw what pain was because yeah. I adjusted her once and she flinched like crazy. Again, I'm doing the other underside foot now. Let me do the tail too. Sometimes the tail can have a lot. So I'm gonna push her out a little bit towards you. Can you help me just move her? Let's don't wake her up too much. Good. And can you get her head to go back down maybe? Yeah. So now I'm on the tail and I'm not gonna do anything abrupt. I'm just gonna tug and hold. First I go lateral left and right to, to see if there's any restriction. Then I go inferior or down and come up. And there's some nice motion. 
but I'm also going to traction a little bit. So I'm supporting the pelvis and just pulling a little bit. Can you come on top for a second with the camera? So, so I'm doing this. Can I do it again to your, so I'm holding here and pulling out like that. Holding here at the pelvis, getting a nice grab on the top of the tail and tractioning up. And I'm doing pretty good pressure on yeah. you, aren't I? Yeah. So I'm gonna do that. And I dial it in really slow and steady. And this can open up the sacrum. I'm at the first coccygeal segment, but even higher. Like my thumb is almost inside her butt. I know that sounds crazy to people, but that's how high up I am. Because I don't want to yank her tail. I want to really just move her sacrum. Got it. Do you know she has a little bent part here? Did you ever notice that? Yeah. So here I'm down at the tail. And this is like a little bent pinky. Like mine. And we're not going to change that. You have one too? <laughs> Here, hold yours up. That's what her tail looks like. I just felt it. Can we flip her over now? Yeah. So we want to just do the other side. She's so wonderful. I love this dog. Easy to work with. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to make this leg go long if she gives it to me. I'm stretching it long. My hand's back. Oh, oh that hurts. Yeah, so she doesn't like this leg done. So this is bringing in pain. So as I bring this leg into extension, she's not very happy with this. So let's see if it's coming from underneath and the iliopsoas muscle. Ooh. Thanks, Roger. Roger's filming today. Roger's so awesome. Yeah, that leg has been giving her trouble. So right now I'm finding a lot of tension and the hip flexor on the right. I'm holding that, which is part of this leg going into extension. And at the same time, I'm palpating with my thumb into the pelvis looking for areas that might be holding back. Bringing the leg up now. Let's straighten it. Stretching up through. Give me that long leg. Good girl. You're so good. Take a breath, everyone. And now let's go back to extension. Back to extension. And that's what she doesn't like. So I found a spot. I'm going to tap it now. And it's right. Oof. So I adjusted three spots. I adjusted L6. And it's coming back a little easier now. Do you see she's relaxing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She didn't pick up her head this time. And I'm pulling even more. So I got more extension after releasing that. And then I also did uh, the femoral head from superior to inferior because it was a little high. Now I'm going to mobilize that joint a little bit. I'm giving it some rotation. My thumb is deep into a trigger point at the top part of her femoral head and just working this whole area, both massage and with mobility. And um, I think this is gonna be a good session today. She's mm -hmm. giving me a lot more. And this is, you know, I, I talk about this on this channel where it's a, a process, not a procedure. This dog is a senior dog at 15 years old and has had horrible uh, experience six months ago with whatever happened. It was so traumatic that it changed her life, mm -hmm. and, you know, a total small accident yeah and, then, and a big result yeah. you know and, and think about this we do know that this is true with senior uh, humans you know we'll have that grandma that breaks her hip one day and within three months she's dead and why was did a broken hip cause death no it was the spiral slippery slope that everything cascaded out of control with the traumatic injury and so that can happen to senior animals as well, where they have something that in their younger days they would have shook off in a week. 
or two weeks tops. Um, and then at this age, they spiral down into a horrible um, demise and they change so rapidly and sometimes never recover. So I would love to, you know, not have that happen. And again, I'm still working this leg and that's where it gets tight again. And let's do one more. I'm gonna adjust this down a little bit. I have the spot with my thumb and I'm gonna just go around the circle there. Got it. The last one, I went right into the muscle. Okay, so I think we're done today. We did a lot. Mm -hmm. Let's get her up. Let's check the appropriate reception. I might as well just keep her this direction. So I'll let you pick her up because you're better at it than me. And I'll follow you. Whatever you do, I'll do behind you. All right. So we said the back left was worse. Is that true? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, I can't get that to come down. Do you see? She's not letting you. Which is good. That means she knows mm -hmm. she has a back mm -hmm. foot. All right, let's do this side as long as it's, it's kind of visible, right? Okay. Let's, we don't need to see the front, although I just checked it. Let's see her walk around a little bit. I think that's it for today. What do you think? I think so. <laughs> she, she was exhausted last yeah. week. So it's, it's a lot. Thanks for watching everyone. I know this turned out to be a longer video, but who can blame me? We really need to help this dog. I don't know if I can, I really don't, but I'm gonna do everything I know how to try. All right, anything you wanna say? It's working so far. All right. It's a big improvement. Leave a comment for this precious dog, please. Hi, baby. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. are so wonderful. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Roger. You're the best. Yeah. Oh, that's a bad spot. Sorry, sweetie. All right. So that's also the neck, and that's C3.